Hi friends. Do you recognize where I am today? Look around. Does it look familiar? Yeah. Wilbur and I are in the Daisy Library and we've got some giraffe friends with us today. Do you remember where we left off in Charlotte's Web? We were flashlight reading last time and we left off at the beginning of chapter eight. And chapter eight is called A Talk at Home. Are you ready? It's kind of a quick chapter, so let's hear. On Sunday morning, Mr. and Mrs. Arable and Fern were sitting at breakfast in the kitchen. Avery had finished and was upstairs looking for his slingshot. You know what a slingshot is? Can you picture that? Remember, this is Fern's brother, Avery. So Fern said, did you know that Uncle, Hol Uncle Homer's goslings had hatched? How many, asked Mr. Arable. Seven, replied Fern. There were eight eggs, but one egg didn't hatch, and the goose told Templeton she didn't want it anymore, so he took it away. The goose did what, asked Mrs. Arable, gazing at her daughter with kind of a worried look. Told Templeton she didn't want the egg anymore, repeated Fern. Who is Templeton, asked Mrs. Arable. He's the rat, replied Fern. None of us like him much. Who's us, asked Mr. Arable. Oh, everybody in the barn cellar, continued Fern. Wilbur and the sheep and the lambs and the goose and the gander and the goslings and Charlotte and me. Charlotte, asked Mrs. Arable. Who is Charlotte? Well, my goodness, Charlotte, she's Wilbur's best friend. She's terribly clever. What does she look like, asked Mrs. Arable. Well, said Fern thoughtfully, she has eight legs. All spiders do, I guess. Charlotte is a spider, asked Fern's mother. Fern nodded, yes, a big gray one. She has a web across the top of Wilbur's doorway. She catches flies and sucks their blood. Wilbur adores her. Does he really, said Mrs. Arable rather vaguely. She was staring at Fern with a worried expression on her face. Oh yes, Wilbur adores Charlotte, said Fern. Do you know that Charlotte said, do you know what she said when the goslings hatched? I haven't the faintest idea, said Mr. Arable. Tell us. Well, when the first gosling stuck its little head out from under the goose, I was sitting on my stool in the corner and Charlotte was on her web. She made a speech. She said, I am sure that every one of us here in the barn cellar will be gratified to learn that after four weeks of unremitting effort and patience on the part of the goose, she now has something to show for it. Don't you think that was a pleasant thing for her to say, said Fern? Yes, I do, said Mrs. Arable. And now, Fern, it's time to get ready to go to Sunday school and tell Avery to get ready. And this afternoon, you can tell me more about what goes on in Uncle Homer's barn. Aren't you spending quite a lot of time there? You go there almost every afternoon, don't you? I like it there, replied Fern. She wiped her mouth and ran upstairs. After she had left the room, Mrs. Arable spoke in a low voice to her husband. I worry about Fern, she said. Did you hear the way she rambled on about those animals, pretending that they talked? I worry about Fern, she said. Did you hear that? Mr. Arable just chuckled. Maybe they do talk, he said. I've sometimes wondered. At any rate, don't worry about Fern. She's just got a lively imagination. Kids think they hear all sorts of things. Just the same, I do worry about her, replied Mrs. Arable. I think I shall ask Dr. Dorian about her the next time I see him. He loves Fern almost as much as we do, and I want him to know how oddly she is acting about that pig and everything. I don't think it's normal. You know perfectly well animals don't talk. Mr. Arable grinned. Maybe our ears aren't as sharp as ferns, he said. Maybe our ears aren't as sharp as ferns. What do you think about that? Do animals talk? Can they communicate with each other? Do you have pets at home? Do you have a dog or a cat? And when you say something to them, they respond? 
Do they make noises that only you understand? How sharp are your ears? I'd love to know what you think. Tell me in the comments what you think about animals. Can they talk? Can they talk to each other? Can they talk to us? Do you hear animals? Do they understand you? Kind of a fun thing to think about, isn't it? So I've got Wilbur here with me today, a couple of giraffes, and when we come back together, we will read chapter nine. And chapter nine is called Wilbur's Boast. So boasting, you know what that is? When somebody's bragging about something, Wilbur's Boast. I wonder what Wilbur is boasting about. We'll find out next time. Until then, have fun, stay healthy. See you soon. Mwah.